Here is another kind of egg lofter that is often used in competition. Here we have an egg capsule up here made from two shells and then it is inserted into a long transition and the nice thing about this for competition is it has a lower drag than a, just a straight tube. Uh, we can simulate this in Roxim and I'll go ahead and do that now. Um, I've already gone ahead and made the front portion of the nose cone like we did before in the last video. So now we're going to add the rear half of the egg capsule. And as you saw here, part of this egg capsule sticks into the transition back here. And we'll pull that out so you can see that this part is inserted into this right here. So in Roxim, what we'll have to do is create a transition for the rear part of the egg that sticks out and we'll do that here and I remember my front diameter was 2.5 inches and my rear diameter I don't know what it is right now but I'm gonna guess uh, let's I'll make it 1.8 inches and then the length and then I'll change my shape and you can play around with this to get the right shape that you want and that looks close enough for right now and we'll change the construction to hollow and change the wall thickness and okay so now we have the front part of the egg capsule that sticks out of the tube and now we'll add the rear transition that this is inserted into and I'm going to change the name of this to cone transition so I can tell it apart from the other one and my front diameter I think it was 1.85 now the rear diameter I'm going to um, have a body tube inserted into there and, I, and so I can set the right body tube diameter by going to the rear shoulder and choosing a body tube and uh, I'm just going to say it's a BT20 size and what this does is it puts a shoulder on the rear but what it also does is it sets the rear diameter of the transition so when I change the length you can see that this length this diameter has been set when we set the shoulder diameter but I don't need this shoulder here which usually is inserted into a body tube so I'm going to go back to the shoulder and I'm going to clear these values and that takes that shoulder off and now all I need to do is change the overall length of this and I'm going to change the color just so that it's easier to see my 2D color and 3D color and I'll click OK so that brings us back to the main screen and now we can see it in 3D so we have our egg capsule that is inserted into this conical transition now you're asking, well, what about this part that's inside? How do we account for that? Well, it doesn't affect the aerodynamics of the rocket, but it will affect the mass. So what we're going to do for that is just going to put a mass object right here in this cone transition to account for that weight. And usually it's pretty small. I'm going to cancel out of the database and the mass object. I'm just going to say it's like three or three grams. And then in the location, Oop, too far. I'll just put it right there. I'm going to call this uh, egg capsule mass. Okay, so that accounts for that weight. Now to complete the rocket, now I need to put an engine mount in here. So I'm going to put an inside tube, and this is going to be an engine mount. So I'm going to select an engine mount that will fit regular size motors. And you can see it put a tube in there, but the tube is too long. So I'm going to first start by making that four inches long. And the location, I'm just going to slide it out the back end of the rocket. Okay, let's go back to our 
our pitcher here and you can see that it does stick out the back a little bit which is what we wanted and we could also make it stick out a little bit further and we can put the fins right on there and I'll show you how to do that but uh, first I want to change the location to reference from the base of the owning part so now because of that if I make the tube longer it's going to get longer this way instead of longer out the back by making this longer now I can put a centering ring right here to center it up inside the tube and before I save it let's change the name to engine mount tube and then we'll save it and we're back here at the main screen and now we can go ahead and add our fins onto our tube uh, we can't add them directly to the engine mount tube but we can add them to the cone transition and we'll click on fins and I'll just do a simple trapezoid fin here Proxim gives us a generic fin to start out with and then we'll go ahead and change it and I'm just typing in some generic numbers here and then we'll change the location and it's still a little bit big so I'm going to make it smaller okay and now as I move it back I can actually move it over that tube and Roxham automatically adjusts the shape of the fin and that pretty much matches what we had on our photograph at the beginning so now we have our rocket right here and we can take a look at it in 3D and you notice that now once we added the fins on it now we have a stable rocket design and with a static margin of 1.86